Hi, I'm Chris from Maker Garden. Since I'll be offering the balance scale kits up on my website, makergarden.ca, I thought I'd put up a quick video of how to assemble it so that when it arrives, you'll be able to do just that. So the first thing that I have to do is to make sure that we've got all the pieces and tools. So we need two platforms. That's the platform with the clip for hanging the platform on the scale at the end. We need one long arm piece. It'll be the horizontal piece that goes back and forth, and it has one hole drilled right through the middle of it. We need two of the vertical pieces. They're going to sit straight up and down. They've got a small hole for the screw in the bottom and a hole drilled in the middle for the dowel to fit between two top pieces, two screws. They are Robertson screws, so they've got a square in the top and a dowel. And finally, the base platform, it's got two holes drilled right through the middle of it. On one side, they're countersunk. It means that they have a bit of space for the screw head to fit right inside. And of course, for tools, we'll need either a drill with a screwdriver bit, Robertson screwdriver bit in the end, or a screwdriver. Either works. So to start with, I'm going to take the platform and just start the screws into it. You can use the drill, it would work. Doesn't need to go in far, even just enough to hold it is, is plenty. Same thing on the second one. And then we'll take one of the vertical pieces and start that. Now, if it's been pre-drilled, it might work to just fit it right in place like I've just done or you might have to hold onto it, place the end of the screw right into it, and then drill or screw it straight in. And then we're just gonna fasten it right in, put the, pull the screw all the way through. And I'm gonna hold onto it so that it doesn't spin wildly out of control. This is the part that's great for kids to do. I always get the students to do this part, as the, none of, most of them have not had a lot of opportunity to use a screwdriver or a drill at this point. Uh, I can straighten this part out later, but eventually both of the vertical pieces are going to have the dowel placed across them, and so the holes are going to need to be facing each other. Then we'll do the same on the second side. And same idea, I'll hold it in place while I use the screwdriver or drill. Now I've left it a little bit offset, and that's so that I can actually fit the dowel in place. So that's the second step, putting the dowel in, face it towards the camera so you can actually see it. Straight in, looks kind of funny because it's a bit crooked, but the next step is to put the horizontal arm piece across. Works the best if we put it straight on this way. It fits really nicely, and hey, look at that, it's trying to balance itself out. It doesn't matter if it doesn't balance right now, we'll fix that afterwards. Then we're going to put the dowel across straight into the other side. And give it a little press. We've got the majority of the scale, balance scale, actually built here. The last thing that we need to put on is just the two platforms. It won't worry about it being balanced or not just yet. Uh, I'm going to let it untwist there. Okay, I'll place one end on one side. So the square just goes directly onto the end. And the same on the other side. Again, with the spinning. Okay, straight on to the other side. Get rid of it this time. Now, it won't, may not balance right away. I'll leave it rotated here so you can see it perhaps a little bit easier. And that's fine. What we're going to do next is calibrate it. We've got no weights on the platforms just now. Uh, so one side might be a little bit, I will exaggerate here, might be a little bit lower than the other. Like that. To fix that, I'm going to push in the side that's lower. Until it balances. And I believe that's balanced. So we can put something on one side just to, to check it. Look at that. Or we can put two things on it if I had a second object with me, but I... Oh, I can grab a piece of tape. And see if the pen and the piece of tape happen to balance each other out. Uh, and of course they don't. 
but you get the 